quiet star, flying at a thousand feet, was inaudible on the ground. Its sensors could detect a five-foot person in quarter moonlight at a distance of one mile. An advanced electro-optical payload gave the quiet star its keen powers of observation. Its stealth was achieved thanks to a very slow-turning propeller and highly quieted exhaust, together with other sound-deadening techniques. The sensor operator sat in front, with a pilot flying from the rear seat, always at night, without navigation or running lights. The YO-3A was last of a series of four experimental quiet aircraft evolved by Lockheed between 1966 and 1969. The first was the QT-2, developed under contract with the Army Aviation Systems Command. It used a sailplane wing and fuselage to achieve quiet flight by combining minimum power demands with an optimum selection of propulsion system components. The QT-2 was so successful in reducing noise that the Army wanted a military surveillance plane developed for Vietnam as quickly as possible. Within six months, the QT-2 prize crew, a modified QT-2 with additional communications and navigational equipment, was operational. Then came the Q-Star, a purely experimental aircraft used as a test bed to develop an advanced quiet engine, quiet drive, and propeller systems, and to test the acoustics and performance of sensor systems. Extensive empirical testing and experimentation aboard the Q-Star led to the design of the YO-3A Quiet Star, at the time the world's quietest military airplane. Eleven aircraft were built by Lockheed in the late 60s in a classified section of the Bohannon Industrial Park of Menlo Park, California. The Quiet Star was used for collecting intelligence in Vietnam until late 1971. It was subsequently used by the FBI in the apprehension of kidnappers and extortionists.